So you guys wanted to see other price ranges. You think we're doing too many luxury homes. Okay, we got three brand new homes in Sacramento that are close to $800,000 price point. They're brand new in a community that's just as close to selling out. We're gonna show you them right now. And like I said, guys, these are pretty awesome and they're gonna go quick. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's go. If you're looking for a new home in Sacramento, California, these are awesome. There are, we're gonna show you three of the models that we think are amazing. We're here at Beezer in Atomas and there's only 11 left, so let's take a look. All right, so as Mark said, we're here at Beezer in Atomas. We are touring this model house and it's actually under $675,000. So let's take a look. Which is the dining room and which is the living room? What goes so there? I would definitely say this is the dining area and right over there would be the living space just because you are right off of the kitchen. You have a decent sized island that could comfortably sit. Probably True, you get three, three, two or three, three bar scales. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like the little coffee station here. Yes, I do too. The kitchen. I like it. So everyone knows I love to entertain and that's why this house has the perfect floor plan because of the open living between the dining, the living and the kitchen. I do like this house. One thing I would prefer though is if the, the counters were, but were really smooth. That's my favorite thing about kitchen counters. They do match though. I'd like it a little bit lighter, but can't get everything. And honestly, this is a great deal. What do we have here? So this is stated to be a little office workspace, but I think it's more storage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. I yeah. think it was called a pocket office. Okay, that Cute name. I love yeah, it. That's right. Oh, one yeah. of the yes, yeah. one of the bathrooms. One of three. Okay. Cute room. I like yeah. the carpet and the floor. I like all the flooring they've chosen for this. Part. Yes, I agree. Okay. Very Eight. neutral. Cool. Okay. Garage door. So there's one bedroom downstairs. Let's go see what's up. Yes. Ashlyn, what do you think of a loft? I kind of like it. I do too. I think it's a great common space, especially for the square footage. Right. And then we do have a bathroom right here. And we got a lot. Very spacious. Very good. Little vanities. Nice. It's I like it. Really, yeah, really big. And then across the way too, we do have our hookups for the laundry room. Upstairs laundry. Yes. Just what you need. Super handy. This is a good sized bedroom over here. It's not your little 10 by 10. It's a it's good size. Yeah, much bigger than the one downstairs, that's for sure. All right. Did we check the primary yet? Not yet. Okay, let's take a look. I like the size. Yeah, it's, and it's a little small, but um, yeah, the, the bathroom not... definitely makes up for it. Here is your storage closet. There's your yes. linen here closet. Is. There's no light inside, which is a little bit of a bummer, um, but that's okay. And then you, of course, this is a good closet. Yeah, I like it. I like how the shelves are built in. I do too. Okay, should we go see another one? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Could this be the best deal in Sacramento? 660 for a brand new home, this close to downtown. No one else is building here in the Tomas too. So this house is pretty good. And according to the sales rep, this is the best deal in Sacramento. What do you guys think? I also really love all of the different styles of homes. I think they match really well and they all present. I mean, I just love the curb appeal here. They do have good curb appeal. You're right, I like it. And it's so close to just hopping on to 80 to get to, you know, San Francisco, or if that's where you need to go. Okay, so plan for 3,000 square feet. Yeah, let's take a look. Definitely good size, probably would be used as an office. Yeah, I think it's good size for an office. But yeah, for a bedroom. Yeah. Let's have the walk-in closet, so that's good. Harry Potter closet? Harry Potter. Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh-oh, we have counters that don't match. Yeah, adds a lot of character, some dimension, that's for sure. I know. Beautiful it's, backsplash. As we it is a beautiful backsplash. Yes, and it is the style right now. To have yes, these love the farm seat as well. And the waterfall, that's yes. really cool. I like that. Better if it was the same color. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I take a look over here. We have our walk-in pantry. Oh, that's good, right off the garage. Yes, that's handy and... And then we have our one of the laundry rooms. There's actually one upstairs as well. Yes, and I think this is so awesome. Definitely one of the highlights of the house just because it's so big. You def it looks like it's a little bit of a dog wash, honestly. Oh, you could totally do yeah. that. And your drop station. Yep. You can sit here and take your shoes off. Yep. Put them in the cubbies. Yep, put your backpack that's there. Yeah, perfect for kids. Yep. 
Okay, for me, I'm a big fan of the bling. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like an added finish that you don't really have to pay for, but I'm a big fan of the bling, especially in houses like this. New houses, love that. This is pretty interesting, and I actually like how the loft area is a little more separate from the rest of the bedrooms. Okay, okay. we have another um, laundry. You know what, I did think though that that laundry room downstairs was not too big and not too small. You can move around in there, but you don't want to waste too much of your square footage. Yeah, you could always walk to have it be something else. And since the majority of the bedrooms are upstairs, it might make more sense for your laundry to be up here as well. Another bedroom. Adding furniture always makes it seem a little bit bigger as well. This is true. Okay, what else do we have? All right, so coming back here, we have our primary. It's a nice size. Okay, there's one closet here. Is that another closet? Yeah, another <laughs> closet right here. These two closets, that makes me happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I love this bathroom. I it's got so much character with the um, the quartz and then the, the kind of retro tile. Yeah, like, it's really cool. Yeah. I really like Is it. Is it retro or modern? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Okay. I love a mixture of styles. All right. So one of my favorite things about this house is the closet space. I'm here in the primary. There's two closets, as we just saw. This one's a little bit smaller, and this one's bigger with more built-ins and shelving. The bigger one, I would definitely take for myself, and this one could be my husband's, or it could be in season and out of season. Primary bathroom is a really important part of the home. I really like this one. It spoke to me because of the upgrades they did. The blacks and the whites, the contrasts. It's just really nice. I like it. Which house do you like better so far, Ashley? You know, I actually think the house that's listed at 660000 has the best. I think the rooms are bigger, which I really like. The flooring is a little bit more neutral, which I prefer. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but design goes a long way for me. So like this floor, that's kind of a combination between light and dark. Yeah, there's a lot going on, that's for sure. And so. But once you've got your furniture and some fluffy rugs, I think it'll be cute. Yeah, so we've got, what, 2,800? 2,800 2,800 square feet. You have your powder bath right here off the entry. Good size coat this closet. closet. just got caught in the door. <laughs> Good size coat closet. Laundry room's right there, so you yeah. can kind of access it from when you come in from the garage or when you- Kind of a Jack and Jill style run downstairs. Yeah. I love that. It's very beautiful and it definitely goes with the style kitchen that they have. Such a beautiful island. It's very big. I think you could definitely fit four or five. Oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. You may not even need a dining room table. I don't know. I know. I don't think you would, especially just to make your living area a little bit bigger. So the primary is downstairs in this model. Wow. I don't so know. What do you think of it being right off the kitchen? It's um, like right there. I know, not for everybody, but I do like the size of the room. True. Could be handy. Yeah. You could also use this for guests. Okay, one last thing to remember is the fact that these are all model homes. These are former model homes. So chances are they've got about $150,000 to $200,000 worth of updates in them. I mean, that's kind of cool when you think about the price point of these houses. So it's a really good size. This is kind of enormous, actually. Yeah. yeah. One of the extra bedrooms. Yeah, I think it's a really great size. Just a normal closet though, not a walk-in. Yeah. Then you do have one of your bathrooms right here. Um, single vanity, but I do like that it's oversized and it's great for people to be using, especially that are up here. We had two vanities for kids while they were growing up and did you, do you think any of them ever were in the bathroom at the same time? That's <laughs> a fair point. So, <laughs> may, may not need it, I guess. Yeah, this is a decent sized room as well. Yeah. And then you have a really big closet here that goes pretty deep, um, perfect for storage, linen, towel. Yes. Yeah. Maybe games for the um, the loft area. Oh, yeah. got your furnace there. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like this nice light carpet. I know, I do too. So then off of the other side of the loft, we have our primary. Well, I guess primary number two. So this one has an oh. ensuite. So this one's smaller than the one downstairs, which we'll be able to see. So it's kind of a junior suite. Yeah. Place. There we go. 
So it's definitely a little bit smaller, but if you weren't wanting to have the primary be downstairs, this could be a great option too. It could be up here, true. Okay, so let's talk the flooring here. It's a little busy for my taste. However, I think it's the only negative that there is. There's such a great amount of living space here. Um, so if that's the only thing I have to say, then we'll take it. Those are three great models. I know, I agree. And the fact that there's only 11 homes left in such a great community close to downtown. What's not to like? Um, actually, I think the sales rep said that they had a couple of contracts coming in. So you do need to act fast. These are really nice. 